hey everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will create this beautiful analytics dashboard so let's start and the very first step is we should insert a shape and which shape should we insert okay let's go with this rounded rectangle all right so what we will do is we will create a bar chart which is custom so you have to apply some guesswork here like what should be the height of each bar like if it is 70 percent you can keep the height to seven and if it's 60 percent you can keep it like six so small amount of guesswork is required so for example we have created a bar chart for five items now what we have to do is we have to align these items so that they are at the same level so let's start adjusting the height so for example if there are five items or five days that we have to showcase and i have adjusted the height so this looks like a bar chart and let's go to effects option first ungroup these items and let's first insert around a rectangle to create a frame and send to back let's increase the height and width of these bars so I'm just making sure everything is in place so everything is in place now let's ungroup these rounded rectangles and we will change their rotation their angles so we have used the 3d rotation options and we have changed the angle now let's align these bars and for that what you can do is you can place each bar at the bottom of the frame the blue frame so this will help you align the items because in PowerPoint there is no perspective grid so you have to focus on the alignment here and this is something which many of us do not give much importance but alignment is one of the most important part of any PowerPoint and one should always ensure that the alignment throughout the presentation is perfect and it also helps in the beautification of the PowerPoint it helps uh, any PowerPoint look beautiful so now I believe everything is in place let's apply the gradient background to the frame remove its outline so we will be using a purple blue gradient background this time you can also try purple orange or red as well that will also look very good here of course you can go to uigradients.com it's a very good website where you can download gradient colors Now the next step is duplicate these bars and first apply the white color and then duplicate the bars. Now increase the transparency. Let's apply gradient color and we have applied the same gradient color that we had applied in the background but we will make it a bit darker using the custom colors option by moving the slider so that we can easily differentiate it from the background now select all these bar charts and move it slightly towards left and send to back so that it looks like a reflection or shadow of the white colored bar charts so we have sent it to back and now you can see 
the chart is looking very beautiful now again select the bars in the background and let's make it more darker now it is looking perfect now let's duplicate this background frame and send to back and apply the black color increase transparency and now you can see that it is looking perfect so i'm just making sure it is looking very realistic In, instead of black let's go with the dark blue color now again duplicate it change its 3d rotation we want to create a shadow let's place it here send to back and now what we have to do is we have to try this solid i don't think solid fill is required we have to stick to gradient apply black color on both the gradient stops increase transparency to 100 percent on one of the gradient stop and on the second gradient stop keep it around 80 to 90 percent now let's insert a small rounded rectangle insert gradient color remove its outline go to effects option and change the 3d rotation and use the depth option to increase the depth by 11 points at least now place it here now change the material to metallic and also change the lighting angle so that it shines it is very small let's increase its size a bit so you can increase its size let's place it here and what we can do is go to insert insert shapes insert this rectangle and place it like this now remove its outline so make sure it is perfectly aligned with the rounded rectangle remove its outline apply gradient fill change the grid angle from top to bottom apply the black color increase the transparency of the top gradient stop and for the bottom gradient stop slightly increase the transparency let's change the black color it doesn't look good we have to keep it gradient only so that will make it look more beautiful like this so now we have to increase the transparency of one of the gradient stops that is towards the top and now let's insert text box and we will write items for the x axis so we have written a a b c d e uh, let me change the font to montserrat and change it to uppercase align center make it small and from the effects option change its angle to like this now similarly you can apply the text box for all the bars in the chart so I have fast forwarded the video here as the steps were repetitive now insert a text box and write 90% and you can change the amount as per the highest item in the bar chart and let's change its angle and place it here apply white color and let's write the title for this like traffic so you can also write sales revenue anything you want bunk rate as per the topic of your slide so the next step is to change its angle which is pretty easy you can use the 3d rotation options and place it here now the next step is duplicate this gradient frame change its angle to the first option place it here
let's increase its width and place it here so that it becomes like a wall and we will use this wall to add information related to our slide that is title date branding of this slide so we will use this wall for that so we have applied gradient color and also add duplicate this shape to create a reflection so we will add a black color to it and increase its transparency so we have used the format options and the next step is copy the shadow effect from the bar chart and use it for this new wall shape that we have created for that you have to change its rotation somehow i think it can be done in the gradient option here you can select this option not this one i guess opposite of this this one so you just have to increase its width actually you have to increase its height as the angle from the angle you are watching this you have to increase its height and the its width will change so you have to ensure that it is perfectly placed sometimes it looks difficult what i'm doing here but trust me it, it's very easy you just have to be familiar with the options here once you are familiar with the options you know what you have to do now it's the time to add some branding here like the title of the slide date range and the company name as well so we'll write some text here like analytics dashboard and increase the character spacing and increase the font go to effects option for the title for the text options go to the effects option and change the 3d rotation and now you can see it looks like that we have written something on a wall so this is the beauty of isometric design So now we have all added all the text on the shape and now let's insert another rounded rectangle and this rectangle we will use to place the main information talking about the charts. It will have the points like how much traffic uh, is uh, generated and how many leads were captured or some kind of stat that you want to showcase will come on this rectangle for that we have changed its 3d rotation applied the gradient background make sure it's the same that you've applied on these shapes so now let's apply the inward shadow and change the shadow color from black to dark blue increase the blurness so you can adjust these parameters as per your choice now similarly we will apply the 3d rotation on this icon and we will place it here so this is just a random icon you can place some very cool icon here representing the point that you want to um, showcase here so the next step is apply white color, duplicate it and place it above its copy so that we can create a shadow effect. Apply black color, increase transparency and now you can see the shadow is looking very nice. It's looking very realistic and 3D. Now insert a text box and write the stat that you want to showcase. For example, you can write anything like there is a 60% increase in traffic or a 70% drop in bounce rate 
anything you want to showcase will come here so for example I have written here something about the traffic and change the font to Oswald Oswald light apply white color reduce the size increase character spacing and I have increased the size of the number so that it is clearly visible and rest of the text can come in the next line now rotate its angle and here you go you can place it like this so similarly you can place other text as well and this is very easy all you have to do is just change the angle and place it here I've just realized one thing that a dark blue will look much better than this light blue so I've changed the blue to a bit more dark and now you can see it is looking much more effective and it is more vibrant now and it is much more appealing to the eyes so now let's duplicate this shape here and now I'm placing some kind of object here and this is just for decoration purpose and this thing doesn't have any objective the shape that I'm creating now it is just there for beautification and to fill some gap here some empty space so I have placed three such shapes on the top of each other and let's duplicate it again and in the fourth shape we will only keep its border the line remove its fill and keep a solid line I think we should keep the gradient line let's tr first try the solid and reduce its depth I think we should remove the depth and apply a gradient the same gradient that we have used throughout this slide the blue and the purple and now send it to back so you can create similar shapes or different it's all your imagination and creativity so the isometric design is complete and the next step would be ungroup all the items select all go to animation pane apply fly in animation and select all start with previous duration should be 1.25 delay should be 0.25 now start before you do anything further just make sure the smooth and slider is towards the right and now select all the items in the animation pane and start deselecting few items it's totally up to you you can deselect three items four items five items other items are uh, too many so I've started deselecting four to five items at a time and keep on increasing the delay again deselect few items here four to five and increase the delay so you can keep on doing that until all the items are deselected this is a very cool animation trick I have also mentioned the same in my previous videos as well also this animation trick works very well with float in animation as well so you can try it on any slide and it will work beautifully like you can see on your screen right now so our design is complete please subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon like button share your thoughts in the comment section share share the video this will help us spread our work to more number of people and keep on watching our videos this will motivate us also join the membership this will help us support our initiative of providing free powerpoint presentation slides so thank you everyone have a nice day bye bye peace